So, I had another market last Saturday, April 6th. It was a last minute kind of thing. There was an opening and the um, coordinator asked me if I wanted to fill the spot. So I said, sure, why not? So Grumpy and I went over and I set up and got all ready to sell. Well, the first hour was fantastic. Went really, really well. Maybe an hour and a half in there. From a little before 11 to 12.15, somewhere in there. Then after that, not a single person. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. It was dead. It was dead. I don't know why. We don't know why. We tried to figure out why. There's a couple of things that may have caused that. There was a new, brand new Dollar Tree that had their grand opening that day, and it was right on the other side of the parking lot from the hotel that I had the market in. Then on the way home, I was thinking in the hour and a half traffic delay we got stuck in, that the hotel was full of teenagers. There were two basketball teams staying there. So I would think, because there were so many kids there, that that really cut down on the amount of adults that could rent rooms there. So I'm sure that hurt us too. Kids weren't buying, they would come in and look around and laugh and you know, do teenage kind of things. They were kids. So I think that didn't help us either. But my first hour was great. But boy, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this turned out to be my worst market yet. But what the heck? I didn't lose money. So that's a good thing. I love talking with the other crafters. That's always a good time. And crafters help crafters. So several of them bought something from me. I bought from several of them. And you know, it's just what crafters do. So it wasn't a horrendous day. It was disappointing, but what are you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. Hopefully the next one, right now, the next one I have booked is June 1st. Hopefully then it will be better because it's just going to be too darn hot here in Florida to be going to outdoor markets. It's going to be miserable. Nobody's going to want to walk around in this hot sun in the summertime. So I'm hoping in June and July when I have markets booked that the heat <laughs> will be in our favor. So let me tell you what I sold. My biggest seller this time were my little mini turtles that I sell for $5. I sold four of those. So that was good. I sold my little pug dog. It's like this big. I have a picture of it. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, I sold my summer fairy. Do you remember my fairies? They were a while ago. If I can find a picture of her, I'll put it on <laughs> here, here, wherever it pops up. Um, that was $30. The pug was $10. Um, I sold my bloom. It's parfait bloom yarn bunny. And I sold that for $18. I wasn't even going to bring the bunnies because Easter was over, but I decided, what the heck? I didn't have as much stock as I did in March. So I just brought it. The only things I didn't bring were my fall things. So I sold that bloom bunny. That was a surprise, $18. And I sold my unicorn. Oh, I love that unicorn so much. And I sold a unicorn for $27. And the fairy, the bunny, and the unicorn was all to one person. So that was a $75 sale. Yay. I sold my mallard duck for $15. I sold my small possum 
that I tested for Robin, not in crochet. Sold that for $12, and I sold one card holder for $5, and that totaled $137. Now, what a fantastic day I would have had if every hour right, I sold $137 worth of items. But that was the end of it. That was it. Just it was a long afternoon sitting there. But no one's fault. You know, it's just one of those things. Just one of those things and you move on and hope the next one will be better. So out of the $137, $62 was in cash and $75 was from Square. So after I pay the fee for my tables, which that was $40, and my Square fee was $2.75, I ended up with $94.25. That'll buy some yarn, right? <laughs> It'll buy some yarn. Not the greatest. I can't say it's not the worst because it was my worst. But it could have been even worse than that, right? It could have been even worse than that. So, we continue to make. I have three orders. One order I got from one of the crafters there. Um, so I have three orders to work on now. So that's a good thing. One is substantial. One is over $100. So I think these three orders are going to add up to more than this market again. So I'm very, very, very blessed and lucky with online orders. Very, very lucky. And um, keeps me going and keeps me in yarn. Keeps me in yarn. So that's my sad little tale about my market last Saturday. I'm not freaking out over it. Not worth it. I didn't lose. That's the big thing. It's not like it was a hundred dollar market and I only made $137. Then I would have really, yeah, that would not have been good. So let's move on. Just before we, I came in here to do this video, I got a bag in the mail from Hirschner and I'm a little upset. I'm really upset with Hirschner. Hirschner and Premier. Honestly, people, get your act together. Get your act together with this yarn. I ordered, this is what I got. I got one sea glass, because I didn't have any. And I got a bag of poppy, because I want to stock up on winter, uh, Christmas yarns. Because yarn has been a nightmare to get, especially this kind that everybody and his, their mother uses, or grandmother in my case. <laughs> but in this order, I also had a bag of emerald green. Now they say it's on back order. It was not on back order when I ordered it. And I have a bag of ballet pink coming. Lord knows when that'll come. That's been out of stock forever, it seems. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. If I should order more stuff, I got $94 to spend. <laughs> my markets are paid for already. So that was my little, my little extra haul. I'm not buying any more yarn right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So I was messing around and I made a couple of little things, little, little, little things before we get to the surprise of the day. A surprise of the day. So I'm not sure. I think I already showed this little guy to you. My little lion. I just think he's adorable. And it came with six other little jungle animals. I think I might have said this in last week's video and probably put a link to the pattern that I got on Etsy. But I think he's adorable and I was kind of glad he didn't sell. <laughs> you get, do you get hooked on, on, on your plushies and you kind of hope they don't want to sell or you leave certain ones home because you don't want them to go? <laughs> I don't know. I just really like this guy a lot. So the other day I said, well, I have twin grandsons. They're 13 years old. And I held them minutes after they were born. 
and they were, I don't remember how much they weighed. I think they weighed about five pounds each. And they were very long. They were long and they had long, thin arms and legs. And, you know, newborns, they come out and they're kind of wrinkly and everything. And they looked like little monkeys. And for 13 years, I've been calling them my monkey. And I asked them, I said, you're 13 years old now, do you want Mene to not call you her monkeys anymore? Because I won't do it. Oh no, no, you've always called us your monkeys. So. so they like it, they're used to it. It's been their whole life. So I thought I would make a little monkey. Well, actually I wanted to make two monkeys and one would have a little blue bow tie on and the other one would have a little green bow tie on because when they were born, that's the color that my son and daughter-in-law would dress them in. Logan would be in green, Jacob would be in blue. So that's their colors. So I made this from the same pattern, you know, same thing that this one came from. And I don't think it looks like a monkey. <laughs> I think it looks like a cow. Grumpy says, oh, that's a cute little bear. Thanks, Grump. But I don't know. I don't like this part. I don't like this part. I don't think that helps it. I think the little hair on top is cute. I like the little ears, but I don't know. So what do you think it looks like? <laughs> He's got a long tail. He's got a long, long tail. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make another one now for the boys. Or use a different pattern. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And then I made, went all the way back to the very first sale I had last summer. And it was for a little pink octopus. So I was feeling a bit nostalgic and made a little pink octopus. Doesn't take very long. Quick, easy little pattern. And Just, I don't know, something to do, something to do. So that was that. And then my favorite thing that I've made, other than my little lion, of course, of the little things that I've made, um, just before I went to the market, I had another pattern that I had bought from the same person I bought all of the jungle animals from. And it's a new bee pattern. And I I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And here's my little bee. Look how cute that is. Look how cute. I love it with the crooked little mouth and the... <laughs> I just think it's so cute. It didn't sell. I didn't care. But I'm gonna make more of these. I want to try it in different yarns. This is Dollar Tree. Just chenille yarn. So I want to do it in posh. And I may do it in parfait chunky too just to see the differences so maybe I'll do that for next week but I think it's adorable I love 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 this little bee I thought it was the cutest little thing so those are the only things that I made since Saturday except for one and it's a surprise so, you got to give me a minute with this one. Now, about a month ago or so, I made my biggest thing ever. Do you remember what that was? You can see some. That's my big dragon. My big dragon. Let's see the wings extra long tail love this guy he sits in my family room so we can see him every day love him love him love him well i was contacted by shannon that she had another pattern and would we robin heather and i would we want to test it for her 
So, of course we said yes. She's such a phenomenal, phenomenal pattern maker. I mean, it's insane. Insane. So this time was a baby dragon. Baby dragon. Just finished it today. <laughs> Just finished it today. Just sent it to her, pictures to her so she could see it. But this is my little baby dragon. Any cute. Any cute in my two favorite colors, pink and green. Well, this is actually hibiscus and lime green and parfait chunky. Look at his <laughs> spikes. I love it. I love it. And everybody says, but he looks so big. Yeah, well, let's see if I can do this and get these guys side by side. He is quite a bit smaller than the first one. Peek -a -boo. So these are my dragons. I love these guys. I love these guys. This pattern will be released on Monday the 15th on um, Snuggle Beans Crochet's Etsy site. I will put a link to that in the description below. My gosh, how can you not want to make this? It's so cute. And she gives you three choices for heads, three choices for horns, three choices for wings, two choices for spikes, two choices for the end of the tail. I took the easy way out with the arrow. So you have lots of lots of choices and on one pattern if you want to make more than one you can just mix up all the different items and have a different dragon every time you make one it's awesome such awesome patterns i just love it love it love it love it he's so cute, he's so cute. my new baby <laughs> so tell me what you think of my new guy oh i struggled with colors i struggled with colors i I knew I wanted to do the green because green's my favorite color. And I had pulled out lilac first because I really liked the combination of green and purple together. But the lilac was just too light for this bright green. It didn't look right. So what I was making, I tried to frog and of course, frogging parfait chunky yarn is nearly impossible. So I had to throw that leg away and start all over again because the first thing that I used two colors on are the legs with the little nails. So I threw that away and went and looked at my stash and tried to figure out what I wanted to use for, you know, the other color. And I came up with the hibiscus. And I think the colors look good together. Let me know what you think. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. I really like him. Like him, like him, like him. So he's going to go sit in my living room right next to her big brother. <laughs> and I think that's it. I think that's all I have for you. But check out Snuggle Bean Crochet. Snuggle Beans Crochet. She um, posts on Instagram. She must have a million dragons. Oh my gosh. It's incredible the dragon she makes. Incredible, incredible. I can't speak more highly of her than I'm doing right now because she's just amazing. Just amazing. I'm so happy that she trusts me to make her patterns and asked me to do it. I didn't have to apply to test. She she came to me and that's quite an honor to me that somebody trusts me with their creations enough to ask me to do them. And she said there's more coming. So I will do every pattern she makes if she asks me to because she's that good at it. So remember, Little Dragon being released Monday, April 15th, tax day. <laughs> I can't forget that date. And up 
put it in the link below. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And until next time, see ya.